the mind can seem to extend or project. When it's extending, then it's it's in its flow and function. It's it's in its God-given function of of extending love. And when it projects, it's attempting to use the same law, the law of extension, but in a very distorted way to perceive that it's possible to get rid of something. And then this whole projected world is an attempt to get rid of guilt, get rid of pain and fear and suffering. It's quite a clever trick of the ego to try to see outside that which is held on to inside the mind. As if it's happening to you, but not you who's doing it. And so, it's very profound to realize that you're here to extend love and that's all that you were created for, is for extending love. Everything else is, is a distortion of that law of extension. I feel a gratitude too. I remember when I was reading Absence from Felicity and I'm learning more about the scribe of A Course in Miracles, Helen Schuckman and her boss, who was also her collaborator with the Course, Bill Thedford. And I was reading it and I remember reading one part where Jesus was telling Bill and Helen that it was actually very important that they were together they were joined together in this very holy purpose. And he said another thing that was helpful about them being together is that they had complementary ego dynamics. That just struck my funny bone. It just tickled me to think of the words complementary <laughs> in front of ego dynamics. Only Jesus could call ego dynamics complementary and and keep you reading on to the next sentence. Anybody else would tell you that, you'd go, yeah, get out of here. But he was saying that the presence of love and spirit is so wonderful and gracious that it actually has a plan for escape from the ego, so there's no accidents. The people you meet, the people you encounter in your life, the relationships you have, are all part of a, a grand design that was actually accomplished in one instant, but in terms of form and time and space, it seems to take millions of years to play out. But it's already completed. The solution has been accepted. And then now it's the watching you have to accept it for yourself, It's pretty much what, what it is now. And not to get too distracted by the millions of years part, because <laughs> it, can, it can be uh, depressing if you start to think of awakening as a journey that will take millions or even, even hundreds of thousands sounds depressing, no matter what number you put in there. <laughs> but to realize that there are no accidents in the plan and that everything that's occurring is occurring for your own good. Regardless of whether you recognize that or not, that that's comforting to know that that's there, that's always there, that nothing is out of place, there's no accidents, chance plays no part in the plan. You can tell yourself at times, well, that was fortunate, or hmm, how unfortunate, but those are just judgments of what is occurring. <laughs>